Yeah, and you know, really, it's like I want to talk with Whitney because I don't know, she's real, and you know, she's a normal person, and this is something like I've real estate investing is something that I've always wanted to get into. I've had some apprehensions, and I don't know why. So we're gonna talk about that and just dispel some of the myths because she's crushing it, and not only is she but her her clients and you know i can to very much attest to some of the stuff that's been happening and stuff so so she's super pumped on this and you know it's not just like an, another webinar where people are just talking blah 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 like i wanted you know this is something that we can create together that you know is good and answers these questions and you know gets rid of some of these fears that a lot of people have that are just i don't know holding you back from really getting what you really want in life, you know, which is that financial freedom. I did a survey the other day. I didn't realize how many questions that people had about real estate. Like, I feel like I've been covering this for the last two or three years and they still have so many questions. You know, how do I get started? How do I get my first deal? How do I know it's a deal? It, it, why does it seem so hard? Because we're taught that real estate is really complicated and we need somebody to guide us through it. And you probably do need somebody to guide you through a deal or two, but you don't need somebody on every single deal to show you how to get these leads and how to negotiate. You need to learn that stuff and then put it into practice and just keep going at it. So it's not like, okay, and you set up a plan, not just like, hey, just figure it out type deal. No, I really, I think I do a really good job of when I'm teaching something, especially if I'm teaching something online, I'll do a screen share. So you can follow me move through move and I talk through it. I'm doing this because of this. I'm doing this because I'm looking for that. All right. And that so, way, if you're trying to get there, you can go there. Or if you see something and you need to go on a different track, then you can go on on a different track. You know, it's funny. We, we're both, uh, we chatted before and it's funny. We both kind of follow the same uh, stock investor. We're not, we're not going to name his name, but he's kind of <laughs> controversial. Mm -hmm. And the the thing we both figured out too was you need to risk a lot and and you know what he's showing you the the, the final product is not true like you like to get those high yields with stocks you need to start throwing down and having a lot of capital just totally liquid you're not going to make a thousand dollars a day if you just got a hundred dollars in the bank so it was kind of funny that both of us followed that guy and um you know i guess that's a lot of truth that people think in real estate too you need tens, 20, 30, 40, 100 grand to get going. But then this is where it's not true. And I'm not shitting you when I tell you that I turned $10 into $15,000. It took me eight weeks. It wasn't overnight, but I really took a $10 check and turned it into 15,000 in eight weeks. And then I did the same thing. At the same time, I had another deal that I was working on. And so after that one closed, three weeks later, I got another check for 8,000. So I turned twenty dollars into twenty three thousand dollars, and I'm not, I'm not you like a mogul or like you like had tons of experience or family experience in this. My first two deals, like I really didn't have a clue what I was doing, and now that I know what I'm doing, I'm doing those every month, like no big deal. Wow, it's just the other thing too. It's like you know I went to some of those uh you know rich dad kind of <laughs> things. And I won't forget, like, I'll set you the stage, like, they're talking about all this stuff, and I'm, like, getting into it and all this other stuff, and, you know, it's, it's all good. And I'll never forget, in one part of the thing, they asked the audience, all right, stand up, who's ready to start making money? And it was because it was a, uh, a pitch for, like, a $15,000 program. Now and go to the back. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even shitting you. I, I swear my, <laughs> my grandma. They're literally, like... I want to see who's going to, who's ready to stand up for success to get this stuff. And all these people stand up and I'm like, yo, these people are fucking crazy. They're about to just drop like this for some marketing bullshit. And they do it. And, and I, I can't do that. Like I, I, I probably physically can mentally and emotionally. I can't, I can't do that. It, that's, that's what I think. And, and if you think the same way as me, man, like that's so refreshing not to hear that you're not just a BS marketer. Well, one thing is I've been in those boot camps and I saw the people run to the back and I have been in some of those where I ran to the back and then I got there and I was like, wait, what, what? No, no. And actually I'll tell you at my first mentor that I hired, I was at a boot camp. They did the pitch run to the back. Well, later in that day, 
I went to the back. I didn't go when everybody else was running. I went to the back and I said, I'm not going to pay you that, but I will pay you this. And they took it. I negotiated my mentor's rate. <laughs> One thing was I wasn't there for the cattle call. And the other thing was you can do that. They will do that. But they didn't give you exactly what you've learned over the, you know, many years and trials and errors and stuff. Okay. So when I hired my first mentor, our first call was like the second week of March, but I had my first deal under contract February 28th, two weeks before I had my first call with my mentor. <laughs> and then they were there with me for six months and I did like 12 deals in the next six months. So they were there with me to coach me through that, but they were not with me on the first call, the first appointment. I, hmm. I went in and got that from what I'd learned. You know, and you don't have some like magical fairy stuff or you're a hardcore like salesperson that just drives everyone. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you, I think the secret to my success is that I speak very fluent redneck <laughs> and in East Tennessee, you need to do that. <laughs> But, you know, honestly, what it is, is what you speak is like, you're a people person and, and you're not just trying to like scam people because people smell that shit from a mile away, right? Like no one wants to be sleazy, to, like dork guy. And, you know, if you're doing buying or selling, you like, you don't want to deal with that. Well, I don't really care where you are in the country. If you can break real estate down to regular, simple terms that, you know, a kid could understand, then the seller feels more comfortable with you. If you go in and you try to give them a real estate seminar when they didn't ask for it, their answer is no. And I don't care what you're trying to do with them. Okay. But if you can lead them through it and show them why it's great and then present them with three different offers. So that's another thing that I do. I don't want you going to look at a house and having one offer ready. I want you to have three offers ready. That way the seller can say, well, I like this one. Let's do it. And you already know how you're winning on that deal. No matter which one they pick, I want you to be prepared to know how much money you're going to make and be okay and ready to take that. It's better to get one of these three and know where you're going to make the money than to get none of it because you only had one option, you know? Yeah. 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 That's crazy. And you don't have to be like specially talented or anything in, in this. And <laughs> It's, it's funny because like I started my own businesses because I wanted a lot of that financial freedom. And you know what happened is I got busy with doing a lot of the other stuff and it's a lot of other work, you know? So I just thought like, yeah, you need tons of money. You need perfect credit. My credit's good, but it's not like, you know, not like crazy, but these are all just old school mentality. That is really old and boring real estate because when you're doing, I specialize in lease options and owner financing and my sellers are not equipped to run my credit. And, you know, I've got ways of talking them through, why do you need my credit? Maybe I should check you out mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of you checking me out all the time. Uh, you know, the other thing that you can talk to them about is I don't need a whole lot of money. I, I know I had somebody yesterday, one of my students yesterday got a $300,000 vacation rental house with no money. And no credit, no banks, no payments for three months. And she's pretty excited. She's super excited. I'm excited about that one. <laughs> I, did, I did see the pictures of it. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, I got to say. Yeah, it is awesome. This is like, this feels like such unicorns to me. And that's why I'm like, oh my God. So, so if I'm like, all right, so I'm down with this, right? You know what the next thing that like, I've always wanted to do this. What do I do about? Okay, my significant other, spouse, you know, girlfriend, business partner, whatever, like that you may have. What do you do about that one? Cause, cause I'm, I'm sold, I'm good, I'm game, I'm ready to like crush it. But you know what? As soon as you get off the calls on stuff, they're gonna be like, what, you, what, what the hell do you know about real estate? You're, you know, blah blah blah. This is risky, all that other stuff. What, what do you talk about that? Well, one, it is risky. Okay, I'm not gonna deny that it is risky, but so is driving, and so is getting in an airplane, so is eating Mexican food, and that doesn't stop anybody. Mm -hmm. I think it's way more risky to put a hundred thousand dollars of cash, if you could ever get that much, into a property and be winging it. That's way more risky than what I'm gonna ask you to do. Second is, I've been there. I decided I was gonna get into lease options, and I was gonna be a real estate rock star, and. That was what I was going to hang my hat on. And my boyfriend at the time told me that I had church camp mentality. There was no way this was going to work when I got back home. 
And I had wasted good hard money to go to this event and pay these people to help me. And I think it was my sixth deal. I did six before he finally said, I think you're on to something. Hmm. I, I really think you're on to something. And now that we're three years into this and we're married now, I give him a little bit of that for breakfast every day. I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> did he later then propose to you? <laughs> you got to put a rock on that one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. But I've been there and he gave me all the negative feedback. And I was like, dude, I got that in my head already. I don't need that from you. <laughs> I've got it. I understand, but I'm going to get through it and make this happen. Yeah. The other thing is like, I don't want to be buying houses in the garbage ghetto and going over there and doing that. Like, that's what I think. Like I had, I had plenty of money set up. I was like, Oh, I could buy this like house for like 30 grand cash right now, but it's like in the ghetto and I don't want to go there. Well, just because it's 30 grand cash, do you have a formula to make sure that that's actually a good deal? No, I have no idea. Well, I'm going to give you that. That's one of the things that wherever it is, I'm going to help you figure out if it's a good deal and how you can, get facts and comps, comparable houses to back that up. I don't want you winging it anymore. <laughs> yeah. That scares me. It makes me lose sleep knowing there's people out there winging it in real estate and they have no plan. Yeah. And, or, and then, and then you buy something and it's a total flop and you're just like, well, I, I've, I've been there. I bought the house in the ghetto. It was a little crack house, a two, one, two bedroom, one bath. And I didn't even go in it and look at it. I thought $15,000, how could I go wrong? Well, my brother went and looked at it after we bought it and the floors were like sponges. I mean, they were so squishy when you walk through, you like sank down. It was disgusting. It was awful. And we ended up selling that house really fast because I didn't know how to do owner financing and lease options. And we lost $4,000, but I didn't get mugged or raped or kidnapped or anything. So yeah. there's that. That's the only <laughs> time I've lost money is yeah. because I didn't even go look at it. And I, I put all my cash into it. Yeah, I find it interesting that both you and I are, you know, we share the same kind of like goals and real estate stuff. And the only thing I I didn't do it and you did it. And now I'm kind of like, dang it, you know, <laughs> instead of listening to stock market people and just doing whatever I should have been, should have been hanging, hanging my hat with you because. But so many people hear it and they get it in their mind that this is too good to be true. And that was a one time thing. That was a unicorn. That's not going to happen. And as long as you keep telling yourself that it's true. But if you'll never... do what I tell you to do and you get out there and you start forcing this whirlwind, then after a certain amount of time, you've got this whole storm going and you've got leads coming in. You can't hardly catch them all. Hmm. So you're saying it's never too old to start, basically. You're never too old to start. You're, and yeah. you're definitely not too young to start either. Yeah. I mean, when do you want to retire? You want to retire when you're 65 or when you're 45? I want to retire when I'm 35. Yeah. All right. Well, man, I, I, what are what are some of the other like common like just hangups that people got in their head? I just can't, you know, I can't think of all of them, but I'm sure. A lot of people tell me that they've tried other mentors. They've tried under other gurus and it's a lot of talk and not a lot of content or not a lot of call to action. Mm -hmm. And all of my lessons have homework. I want you to take this and go out and either try it in your area Try it with your social group or try it on a social media feed. And whether that's Craigslist or Facebook or whatever, I have something I want you to go and do so that you're continually working on this storm to get to the leads, to get to the deals, and then to get to closing. Yeah. Let me, uh, so for everyone, let me preface this because I've been in the online space for a little bit and I know a little bit thing or two about gurus and uh, spending a F ton of money. And I'm not even kidding you when I say this on these guru people. And I'm not lying. This is for business coaching stuff I've done. It It's like short and it doesn't leave you with anything. And I can honestly, after being through a lot of shit, shit coaches that promise the world, that I have a sense for people that are like, that actually do give a shit and put effort into stuff. And, uh, I wouldn't be talking to Whitney because, you know, I research people like crazy nowadays because I've gotten burned by these, these wannabes and these, you know, selling you rainbows and unicorns for, you know, five grand a pop and shit, you can only take some of those and, oh my God. But Whitney is, 
<laughs> you know, she's going out there and getting it. So <laughs> I got to give her mad props. And that's why the only reason I'd want to be talking to her is because of that. And I just have a good sense with her, too. So, well, thanks, you know, Brian. You know, that's that's why I love you so much. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what a lot of the people like about me, too, is my students know how to get a hold of me. And it's not yeah. a week before I'm going to respond. It might be an hour. It might be immediately, you know, but it's not going to be like, I'm going to answer everybody before I go to bed. Yeah. Or I'm going to say, I've had a glass of wine. I'm going to answer this tomorrow, <laughs> but I will acknowledge that you need something. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like, oh, you're done with the course. Okay. See you later. Like, oh, no, no. Good luck. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Because this is, I mean, real estate is a long-term play. And life happens. If you get into my program and then something happens and you need to like take a minute, go take your minute and come back. I've been doing real estate since 09. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not getting a new unicorn. Like I'm going to be doing real estate whenever you can come back to me. All right. So let's talk real quick. Who's this not for? Like literally iron that person out. Just call them out and be like, hey, if this is you, then this isn't for you. I'm sorry. If you are a negative Nancy, it is probably not going to work for you. If you're going to get on the phone and argue with me about why my system won't work for you, you're right. Don't call. If you have 18 different examples of this has happened bad to other people and it'll happen bad to you too, you don't need to call me either. Like I need people that are really tired of working, that are really tired of fluff and really want to put in some effort over the next three or four months and then bring that in as cash flow for the rest of their life. And I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it's going to happen overnight. I'm not going to give you leads. I'm going to teach you how to be a one man band or a one woman show so that you can get your own leads and you can turn them on or turn them off depending on how much work you want to do for the rest of your life. That's cool. So it's not the cookie cutter stuff. It's really not. And it's not an overnight fix. You're going to yeah. have to work at it. I like people who can give me 10 hours. And part of those 10 hours, I have videos and worksheets and stuff that we're going to go through. But most of that is I want you out in your area, talking to sellers, making offers, looking at properties and getting it done. Cool. Sitting and watching videos is going to get you to where you can sit and watch videos. I want you to get out and make something happen. Yeah. I think someone put on their thing too is like after watching all these videos and talking with you is like it was like cake. Like I just walked in and I knew exactly what to say and it was done deal. Christina did because yeah. and that's what I do. I, I've been through so many of these. The marketers you were talking about earlier, they've been through a lot of boot camps. They haven't been through a lot of houses. I've been through a lot of houses. There's a rhythm to it. And so I'll take you through my videos, not at a house, but in my house, and I'll take you through it. So that you understand, you're prepared, you know what's coming next. And then you can you can jumpstart where I was when I started. I had to figure all that out. Now I'm just telling you, this is what to expect. <laughs> if this yeah. happens, it's over. If this keeps happening, you got a deal, go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so a there's a lot of landlords out there who are missing money because they're stuck in regular rentals. They don't know how to get an influx of $10,000 in. And maybe they need that 10000 to go buy something else. Maybe they need that 10000 to come in so they can go fix something else. But they're missing money left and right. If you have one rental house and you don't want to really be an investor investor, but you want to get more money out of this house every year, you need to talk to me. We need to get you into lease options so that oh. you can get big flushes of cash. I mean, one thing is if you've got a spare 500 bucks, I'm probably not going to work with you because I'm teaching you how to make 10, 15, 30, $50,000 in one lump sum. I'm teaching you how you can do this forever and ever. Amen. And never need another coach or guru. And it, I'm not cheap. <laughs> Nothing spent, about me is cheap. Yeah. So you spent, well, it's because you spent a lot of what, A, time, and B, money, and three, probably frustration. I In the first year, I spent a week every month in Florida at school. I had to pay for school. I had to pay for travel. I had to pay for the hotel, food, everything. 
I probably spent $30,000 in the first year. I made like 150 cash, but I still spent a lot. And I'm saving you all of that. <laughs> My program's online. You don't have to leave the kids. You don't have to leave your husband. You don't have to leave your job. You can just get through it. And this is the only investment you need. So what you're saying is basically pay up front and then you got it for the rest of your life. And, What's that worth? And the other thing is a lot of these gurus, they use their students to fill their pipeline. I don't. I'm going to teach you how to get your leads. You can go close them and you can get the money. Yeah. Cool. I mean, you're solving a lot of problems for a long time. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, and making a lot of people happy in the meantime. Yeah, that's cool. That's kind of make you feel good when you go to sleep. Yep. I have an event coming up. And I'm going to do this every quarter. Right now, we're planning, it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, March 18th and 19th. And when you get into the program, you get free admission into this weekend workshop with me. And we're going to do, you know, my course is 12 weeks. We're going to get it down to 12 hours and do a house tour. So I'll go out with you into the field and say, this is what I'm looking at. This is how to flip it cheap. This is how to flip it expensive. This is what I would actually do, whether I would or would not flip it. All right. That's all I got. I'm good. That's all you got. You're good. Good. All right, cool. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thanks for answering all my questions. Hey, hey, it's Brian again. Real quick. I just want to say too, like this is a total just a session because I really do like I really do believe in Whitney and uh, everything she's doing and she's getting results and I just got to give her a lots of lots of respect for all that. So, you know, reach out to her i swear to god like that's gonna be your best option so uh this was just not this wasn't just a sales thing it was really i want you guys to get to know whitney better and to know her like how i do because uh yeah she's a good friend so reach out to her she's awesome that's the bottom line